also bedrock. Uh, what's that? Some opening thing. What? How do I get out? Aha! Uh -huh. Pickaxe. Yes. I remember the last thing I remember was jumping down from that bridge fin. And now this is where I ended up. Hmm. Interesting. Well, anyway, hello everybody. This is Red Gamer 5. Welcome back to Let's Play Modern Minecraft. It's been a while, hasn't it? Well, that's because this is the start of a new season. This is season 2. The previous 12 episodes were season 1. It's going night. This looks pretty rubbish, this place. Okay, why? My pickaxe is going to run out soon. Hang on a minute. Oh, as you can see there, we are now playing on 1.10.2. Previously, we were in 1.9, but we moved up one patch. Are we nearly there? Okay. Maybe we could trim this as well. Last use. As you can see, we're still Mario. It's now a rack. This place. Whoa. Really, this place. Welcome to Super Hostile Number One, The Sea of Flame Two by Vex. This is an open world style map. As you explore, you will find areas and dungeons. Good luck and try not to fall in the lava. Your first goal should be to secure renewable wood and also find the Victory Monument. It may be confident to set up your base at the Victory Monument. Rules? Find and complete the Victory Monument. 2. Find the wall in chest. Do not use sheep or dice. Number 3. Use at least easy difficulty, never peaceful. Locked in on normal. Four. Do not leave the boundaries of the map. Yes, yeah, so don't go into normal terrain. Number five, survive in any way you can think of. Yep. And six is, you craft the metal blocks for the monument. Now, We're going to put on a texture, I mean resource pack, cause to make um. Hang on a minute, not that one. Yeah, that one. Just so um, we can make armor invisible. We're making armor invisible just so we can see my skin here. This is a remake of the old Sea of Flames. If you want to play the old version, you can find it on the forms at the bottom of the Sea of Flame section. So yeah, my original first three maps, they were pure survival maps with no goal or anything. Like all other survival maps, you just kind of derped around. 
It wasn't until my fourth map, the Kazo Caverns, that I added the Victory Monument system. I went back and added walls and victory monuments to the first three maps, but it was not the best thing really. They were not quite designed for that kind of gameplay. So I'm remaking them into proper C tier maps. I hope you enjoy them. Okay, what does that say? It's Historian Battle Sign Level 1. Battle Sign. Let's see if the armor is invisible. Yes, it is. Battle sign, yeah! Now, first thing we want need to do is cut down that tree, get some wood. Uh, we better hurry up because sun could be seen soon. Now this is a super hostile map and the dungeons are going to be very 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 hard okay. I'll die a lot in here because that's what it's all about. No, I need to break this. Now we can jump across. We can start building up. I hear skeletons, but I'm not going to really take care of them right now. Wait, really? No, oh, no. I messed up. Still bit like. Nope, messed up again. I meant to jump across. Yes, made it. The yeast fell, but that doesn't really matter. Okay, let's grab some wood. We're gonna need that. Why is the wood on yeast? Shouldn't it be on dirt? Oh dear, there's a monster spawner. We need to get rid of all this wood before nightfall, otherwise skeletons are going to fall down from here. And we do not want that. No, we do not. I hate skeletons. Well, especially in the new version, because they rapid fire now. I think ever since 1.5. Let's grab some more wood. Wood, wood, wood. Grab that wood later. There's a chest up here. It's like, I feel like this might be a TNT trap actually. So let me break it.
Is that just a sapling? Well, it can be handy since, um, as if you don't get any. Let's get down. Wood. No wood. I mean, tools are good after you make them, but then when they do a build, they drop, then they suck. Wood. We need to get this tree down before night. Otherwise, the skeletons are going to start spawning. Well, they still will, but we'll be far away from them. Might I might need a pickaxe to break that spawner. Keep breaking. I need that apple. Oh no, nightfall. Let's get down. Get down. Yes, got it. It's gonna take forever. Let's make a sword. Haven't died so far yet, but I'm really low on health. Grab this before a skeleton shoots me and I'll be dead. Ah, there we go, so much quicker. I'm going to be having to keep coming up here a lot. I'm going to go all the way down here. Used up a lot of doability already. Okay, now. Battle sign level 2. Potions. So we've got some Gold tools. Hmm. Not really that big. No. Cookies. Now we might save them later. Good. It's daytime now. Aha! Now this is the victory monument. I need to collect all the wall and the metal blocks. To place on this monument, but like the rule, the rule said, I am not allowed to use dice, craft wall, and use dice, and then place them on the victory monument because that's cheating. I have to go to dungeons and collect them, but I am allowed to craft the diamond, gold, and iron blocks because you obtain those free minerals during the map. You craft them, and then you can place them onto the Victory Monument. Let's go explore this way.
Enjoy your piston doors. This is not a trap. This isn't a ROM hack hard map, so you can't trust me. Are you sure? Thank you. Now we've got an enchanting table. We need some bookshelves around here. We can take it out there and put some bookshelves. And we have a brewing stand. But we don't have any ingredients to brew. Oh, hey, never mind. We've got no water, but we don't have any water. Some saplings to get. Here are some more materials to get me started. Redstone. Why is there yeast in here? It's not even useful. Next minute before, I'm going to be throwing all that yeast in the lava. Turn all these on. You only got hit. Boom. Just one scale spider left. I didn't even die. Two molten deaths to Cafrio of the Sunday. Ah, it's a mind track. More yeast. Now this takes you to Molten Deaths. What's in there? Some hidden path? We're not gonna go there. This is one of the dungeons, but that's dungeon level. I'd rather do it in, in order, no matter how hard they are. It will it is gonna get very 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 difficult before we end this episode we might go explore one area Otherwise, they hurt you, so don't eat them, okay? Nah, never mind. It's the only food I have. One more hit, and I'll be dead. So, better not. Try not to fall, okay? Aha! Start placing torches down. Oh, there's a chest over there. Oh, there's a sword, there's a bow, 64 arrows, 64 torches, and pork chop. But, I'm gonna save those until we actually do need it. So we just started the map, and I only have half a heart left. But I'll fix that. No, I didn't. That wasn't enough to cause fall damage. I need to put everything in that chest. What can I save? Not oh, safe. I think I might go with the yeast. We can save the yeast. Get rid of the yeast, I think. Yes. Oh, hang on a minute. I want to save this armor too. No. Now we can get rid of this year. Now we're going to just only throw one piece down. 
So if I throw both, you'll know what will happen when I die. I'll regenerate, and I don't want that. And it's worked. worked and that's awesome now I'm gonna end this episode here great game soon five sign off thanks for watching and I'll see you all again in the next episode